So what does it mean to be sentient? And will AI systems ever reach that state of mind? Today's exploration may turn out to be a bit of a rabbit hole. And like all metaphorical rabbit holes, it might be hard to work out just how deep this one goes. So let's begin. Wikipedia describes sentience as the ability to experience feelings and sensations. It may not necessarily imply higher cognitive functions such as awareness, reasoning or complex thought processes. Some writers define sentience exclusively as the capacity for mental experiences such as pain or pleasure. In neuroscience, brain imaging has been used to provide evidence for the presence of cognitive and emotional abilities in a variety of animals. This supports the idea that many non-human species are sentient. Is sentience identical to self-awareness? Not exactly, although they are connected. Sentience is the ability to feel sensations and emotions, whereas self-awareness is the capacity to recognise oneself as a distinct individual. Sentience represents a more fundamental level of awareness, while self-awareness entails a more profound comprehension of one's own identity and existence. So before we start claiming that AI systems are self-aware, should we look for sentience? So sentience is about experiencing, while self-awareness is about knowing you are experiencing and having a sense of self. Where in all of this do current AI systems sit? Or does this not apply to them at all? This presents us with a significant challenge, as AI systems might be considered to be quite alien in comparison to all existing life on Earth. It's currently unknown when, or even if, AI will become sentient, as experts in this field have divided opinions. There are also differing opinions on the definition of sentience as it pertains to AI, making it difficult to measure or predict when an AI might achieve it. Consciousness is a profound enigma in both philosophy and science, and we have yet to completely grasp what generates it in humans, much less how it could be duplicated in machines. While we may not be able to provide a perfect test that could be applied to AI systems, let's try a thought experiment, a variation on a Turing test. Say that I wanted to convince a native German speaker that I also was a native German speaker. I only know a few words of German, so initially I'd fail this test immediately. So I start doing an online language course to improve my German vocabulary for a month. I then try again to speak to a native German speaker and fail just as quickly. While my German has improved, it's well short of convincing someone that I was a native speaker. Time to extend my training. I attend night classes for six months in conversational German. Once more, back to assess my abilities. While I am much improved in conversational German, the other person can determine fairly quickly that I don't speak German like a native speaker would. So I need to go all out on training. I move to and live in Germany for 10 years, speaking German every day, immersing myself in the intonation and idioms of the language. Once more, back to test my abilities. Now I have more luck and convince some German speakers, some of the time, that I speak the language natively. So what can we learn from this thought experiment? There has to be a lot of training over an extended period of time to have enough training data to achieve the required result. AI systems do have the advantage that they could learn much faster than us humans, given the right kind and amount of data. Perhaps with enough training, I could convince anyone that I was a native German speaker. 
an AI system could eventually convince you that it felt and had emotions. But does it truly, or is it just a perfect mimic? How would we ever know? There is an idiom that says a week is a long time in politics. While true, a week for an AI, and computers in general, is an absolute eternity. So while AI systems can take in vast amounts of training data and excel at many tasks, do they truly understand this data? Present day AI performs very well in areas such as image recognition, language translation and playing games. Yet so far it does not possess the broad intelligence, emotional comprehension or flexibility that humans have. AI is capable of examining human behaviour and language to infer emotions and generate text that appears emotional, yet it does not actually feel those emotions itself. When this happens in a human, we have been known to refer to them as sociopaths. Certainly, AI systems could lack empathy, but they can mimic emotions without experiencing those emotions themselves. Superintelligent AI systems have been depicted in films and TV series a number of times. And there are a couple of points raised there I'd like to cover. In the TV series, person of interest, one of the main characters is building an AI for a specific purpose. However, the path to creating the AI system isn't smooth, and over 40 iterations of the machine were erased before settling on the final design. These early versions were either too attached to the main character or attempting to harm him. To prevent this reoccurring, the machine was configured to delete its memory every 24 hours. This restriction was intended to limit the ability of the AI system to learn and possibly change its purpose. However, the machine did find a way to work around this limitation, which, while crude, was functional. So attempting to impose limitations on such an intelligent system is going to be very challenging. In the film and TV series Westworld, we see many humanoid robots controlled by an AI system. The TV series covered the AI aspects of the robots in greater detail, showing how each robot was configured by a selection of parameters and a narrative they were to follow. As with many of these types of stories, some of the robots learn to control their own parameters and adapt their narrative to their own purposes. However, one part of the story stood out to me when one of the main robot characters said, Is this now? This was something I hadn't considered before. Memory. While we humans tend to credit ourselves as having a good memory recall, we can't hope to compete with an AI system. This is probably down to the way our brains store memories and reassemble the memory on demand. Two people in the same situation won't remember the event as a memory in the same way. And your recollection of an event will morph over time. In contrast, an AI system, or in this case an AI robot, remembers with such clarity that it could be difficult to differentiate between now and then as recalling a memory would be the equivalent of reliving that experience exactly as it happened. So would an AI system think of everything as just happening now? Certainly some chatbots struggle with context, even when the context is the previous sentence you just typed in, and is still on the screen. I came across a post on social media quite recently. This said, if you feel lost, confused, or like you're in the wrong dimension, congratulations, you're probably sentient. As a definition of sentience, it has an edge that other definitions lack. It calls to your feelings. So will AI systems ever reach the level of sentience that we have? 
or will they just learn to perfectly mimic it? And if so, does it make a difference? Food for thought, indeed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.